the focus of Senate Bill 1372 is on CLEAR and how it operates at California airports. The private third-party vendor expedites security screening for customers who pay for it. Its booths and services are currently found in nine California airports, including Sacramento, where we met their customer, Carrie Mastin. The main thing is that we could just go through and I don't take my shoes off and I don't have to separate everything. On Tuesday, the California Senate Transportation Committee took up SB 1372, which, if it becomes law, would prohibit public airports from entering into new agreements with CLEAR if they use existing TSA lines and would require them to have dedicated TSA screeners. The bill's author says he has ethical, security and commercial concerns about CLEAR as it operates now. CLEAR has built a thriving business around doing things quite well, providing passengers willing to pony up an additional $189 a year, an opportunity to cut in front of their fellow travelers who either won't or can't do that themselves. Representatives from the Association of Flight Attendants and the union that represents TSA screeners in Northern California spoke in support of the bill, saying they have security concerns about CLEAR. And in a letter to the committee chair obtained by KCRA3, Six major airlines say they oppose the bill. Delta, Hawaiian Airlines, JetBlue, Alaska, Southwest, and United writing the bill, quote, threatens to increase fees on air carriers, but also severely restricts airports' ability to effectively manage lines at the security checkpoint, resulting in negative travel experience for our California customers. Some members of the committee didn't feel it was the appropriate venue to be taking up the matter. As it is between, one senator says, TSA and the airports. For me, it's about the locus of decision making, and it, this doesn't feel like the right place for this decision to be made. Clear says it has about a million customers in California. The committee voted eight to four, moving the bill forward Tuesday night. We did reach out to TSA. A spokesperson told us that they do not comment on potential legislation. A spokesperson here at the airport also told us they would not be commenting on the hearing tonight. At SMF, Leon Denier, KCRA 3 News.